Hello, I'm Gordon Lundy and I am the leader of West Berkshire Council. Now as you know, the council is here to provide you with the public services you need and depend on. And I believe we've done that very successfully over the past few years. Now your council spends £120 million on your behalf each year. Now that's a lot of money, but it's easier if we think of it as a budget of £100. It means that we would spend £33 on adults who need care and £8 for children needing care. £7 would go on supporting education and a waste service would cost £8. £7 would go on roads and transport. Now the remaining £37 would be spent on a wide range of services such as benefits management, planning, environmental health and public health and a number of other necessary administrative costs. However, the shape of public services needs to change both at a national and a local level. The recession and the resulting national deficit means the country no longer has sufficient money to maintain public services at the level it has done in the past. The coalition government has introduced a series of measures to control public spending, and that includes reducing the amount of money it gives to councils for local services. All councils get a grant from the government, as well as raising income from council tax. For West Berkshire, that grant reduced by £4 million this year and will go down by a further £9 million over the next two years. At the same time, we know that many of you are also feeling the effects of the recession, which is why we have kept council tax as low as possible. Next year, we intend to keep the council tax rise to zero. It will be no surprise to you that the cost to the council of providing services is also going up. The combined result means the council is needing to make considerable savings on the amount it spends. Over the last two years, we have already saved more than £17 million. This year, we have had to save a further £5 million. And for next year and the year after, we're going to have to save the same amount of money. So far, we've absorbed a lot of those savings by cutting back in administration. We've reduced the number of staff at the council by around 200 over the last four years. And we have changed the way some services are provided. We will continue to do this, but reduced spending on the services you use can no longer be avoided. We now have to plan for the remaining term of this government, which is why we are asking you about the savings, not just for next year, but for the next two years. Of the £11 million we need to save, £8 million can be achieved by cutting back further on support services. But around £3 million is going to have to come from frontline services. Those services that you directly use, now on this webpage there are a list of links. Each one takes you to a page giving details of where those savings for the next two years are going to be made. Now although we have a good idea of what the impact of those savings will be, we need a more detailed picture that only you, the people using those services, can provide us with. And this is why we're asking for your help. What we would like you to do is to have a look at the savings proposed and, if the service is one that you use directly, Tell us how the impact of making those savings is going to have on you. The aim is to see if there's anything we can do to reduce the impact of these cuts. Now, secondly, we'd like your thoughts on whether you have any ideas about how it might be possible to keep those services going despite a reduction in funding. For example, volunteers are now running youth services in Clayhill and in Hungerford, and we are transferring the management of many countryside areas to the local wildlife trust. To secure their future. The people of West Berkshire have an excellent track record in getting on and doing things for themselves and for their communities and it is that spirit we need to harness now to get us through these difficult times so that we are ready to make the very best of the recovery when it comes. So do please have a look at the proposed savings and give us your feedback and your thoughts. Help us to help you. That way we can maintain our essential public services and keep West Berkshire a really great place to live. Thank you.